Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and there's no words to describe the insanity that is continuing to happen in Washington. A Republican congressman from Illinois has introduced legislation, and this legislation is called Authorization for Use of Military Force, and it is giving Biden 100% permission to use whatever force necessary if Russia uses chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons uh, in Ukraine. I think it will go further. I haven't read the exact authorization bill, but basically it says to authorize the use of United States armed forces to defend the territorial integrity of the United States allies. If it could just stop at United States, that would be an awesome bill because our border is wide open and our, there is no uh, border for us. So we just have no country. But to authorize the use of United States Armed Forces to defend the territory, territorial integrity of the United States allies. Back up, the territorial integrity is, we would consider an ally, Ukraine. They're not a NATO member, but are they not an ally? So, what they're trying to do is push us into World War III quicker. You're giving the President of the United States, which can't even complete a sentence, that half the time looks confused, disoriented, you're giving him the power right now, if this passes, to have no checks and balances. He can use the United States military. He can use the little big red button whenever he wants to. The, the President is senile. Yes, the President is the President of the United States. He's senile. Uh, I, I wish we could get three medical doctors to evaluate him because I guarantee you uh, they would say this man is not of sound mind to have his finger on the nuclear button. Now, you could say, oh, you're just bashing a Democrat. If he was a Republican, I would say the same thing. I want a man that has his full wit with him to have his finger on the button. The president does not, just because of old age and maybe some other medical conditions. But the Republicans are going to march us to war. I have never seen a war Republicans don't like. They will vote for it. The problem is I wish they would have their relatives on the front line because then they might not vote for it. So we are moving closer and closer to that point uh, of a conflict between the United States and Russia. Pelosi being over there, you know, is wanting to win. There will be no win for Ukraine in Ukraine. They will lose. Uh, Russia will not let them win. Russia will not tuck their tail and leave the country. If they look like they're losing, they will use their full military arsenal. They will use their military doctrine, which authorizes the use of biological, chemical, and nuclear weapons to defend their country. So there's going to be no winner out of this. It will keep escalating and escalating to a point when we have a conflict, be it another NATO country, be it an accident between NATO and Russia. Um, this will just give the president the ability to react without asking Congress for permission. Now, I understand the president of the United States has the ability to react quickly. If, if there's a direct threat against the United States or one of our allies, I understand. He has the authority to order combat troops to remedy the situation. But this is going beyond this. This is giving him permission right now to do what he wants. So if there is a false flag, if there is a, a problem that we created just to get us involved, the president can immediately order troops involved, and then it's no walking it back and say, oh, that was an accident. We didn't know that happened. We want to bring our troops back. No, we will be directly involved with a conflict with Russia, which will be World War III. Now, it doesn't say it's going to immediately be nuclear war, but there's probably a 90% chance it will go nuclear because Russia will be against the world, and they will have to rely on their nuclear forces to protect themselves. So the world is getting crazier and crazier. There, I am projecting a lot of fear to you. I'm going to do a video. I, I, I'll try today on fear because I've talked to a lot of people. And fear is not something we need to live with. But you need to be informed because 
Being informed will let you make decisions. You might need to push up your timetable for your personal survival plan. So by not reporting this is not doing you a favor. But I, I will address fear because um, there's a lot of fear out there. I understand that. Pray for our country. Thanks for watching.